Welcome to Spaces EDU, an easy to use portfolio and assessment platform. My name's Natalie, and I'm here today to give you a quick overview. Let's check it out. Right now, I'm in the collaborative class space. My students and I can share classroom experiences with families, such as this field trip. As you can see, I just posted a storytelling task. My students will respond with audio recordings of their own stories, and their classmates will listen and offer peer feedback. Spaces EDU also has group and individual spaces, and teachers can create as many as they'd like. I love the flexibility of these spaces. I can assign spaces to one, several, or all students. These spaces can be hidden, visible, or active to students and families great for differentiation and a variety of use cases, such as IEP documentation, reading groups, or a dedicated goal setting space. What type of individual spaces or group spaces would you create? Okay, let's pop into an individual space. This one's called My Portfolio, and I'm encouraging my students to post both their formative and summative work. Going into Jack's portfolio, I can see his awesome final product and see the process. Each post has unlimited opportunities for reflection and feedback. This is a one-to-one -one individual space, so only Jack, his teachers, and his invited family members can see these posts and comments. I think that this post shows tremendous growth. I'm going to bookmark it. I'll let you know what that means later in this video. What does post creation look like? Each post can have up to 10 media files, pictures or video, audio, files from a computer, Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive, or a URL link. Today in class, my students brainstormed alternative endings to a book we're reading. I've captured this brainstorm and I want all of my students to have access to it long after those post-its have been recycled. I'm placing this in the class space. I want my students to vote on their favorite ending as part of my lesson opener tomorrow. Remember when I bookmarked that post? I was sending it to the reporting space. The reporting space is a visual report card that showcases growth. The reporting space also includes the opportunity to add a summary statement and areas of learning. Great for formal reporting. I really appreciate that report cards do not need to be an event. My students and families are informed about progress well before that final report goes out. Talking about reporting, let's check out the proficiency report. As a teacher, it's important for me to track my coverage of competencies and to have informed assessment practices by most recent or average. I can see where there are reteaching opportunities and I can see the learning artifacts that are associated with each competency. I love filtering by student and having one-to-one -one conferences with my students to have an open dialogue about learning and growth. We all know that communication is important. Within the Messages tab, I can communicate in channels, sending important learning updates and announcements to both students and families. Or, I can send private messages to students and families. I love sending positive feedback. It's quick, and it can go a long way, especially for struggling students. With student QR codes, single sign-on, rostered classes, and web and mobile applications, it's easy for students, teachers, and families to access their dedicated Spaces EDU accounts. Come visit spacesedu.com to get started today, or contact hello at spacesedu.com to connect with our very friendly team. Thanks for joining me today for this overview of Spaces EDU.